Hi everybody, today I'm gonna make my famous quiche di como. The first thing you need is a pre-made tart or quiche dough. Of course you can make the dough yourself, but that will take some time. Unwrap the dough and carefully spread it over the baking tin. Push it slowly to the middle and then divide it equally to the corners. And fold it over like this. Take a fork and prick the dough quite randomly. During the baking, this will prevent the dough to bubble up. Turn your oven on to 200 degrees and let it preheat. Leek is often used in quiches, like in the quiche Lorraine. For this recipe we need 4 leeks. Cut off the green bits and wash them with cold water. Cut off the ends and start slicing them up really finely. Alright, take a pan and put it on a medium heat. For this recipe I use the bacon cubes, but you can always use pancetta if you like. Turn up the heat and add the bacon. While your bacon is frying, open a bottle of white wine. For this recipe I use a Riesling because when you fry it with the leeks, it gives a kind of sweetness to the taste. Don't forget to stir your bacon with a spatula so it won't stick. We use double cream for the filling of the quiche. For a quiche like this I use about 600 milliliters of, of double cream. Add about 5 free range eggs to the double cream. And add 2 good pinches of salt. And then whisk up the mixture till it becomes slightly yellow. Let it rest for a while and in the meantime add your leeks to the frying bacon. Drizzle over a good amount of white wine. This will bring together all the flavors in the pan. Cover the pan and let it cook for about 5 minutes at a medium heat.
The next thing we need is some Emmentaler cheese. Grate a layer of Emmentaler cheese on the bottom of your quiche. Taste the leeks and bacon. And when they're nice and soft and tasty, they're okay. Turn off the heat and divide the leeks and bacon over your quiche dough. Grate over some more Emmentaler cheese. And then you'll need three or four tomatoes, which you slice up really finely and then spread over your quiche. To give this quiche an Italian touch, I sprinkle over a good amount of nice palms and cheese. Stir up your mixture one last time and carefully put it over your filling. So that's all there is to it. Now whack it in the oven at 200 degrees for about 30 or 35 minutes. 